Hey guys, it's The Gaming Preacher, bringing you a review today of a little device I came across not too long ago. Now, like some of you who may be subscribers to DISH Network, you're probably aware of the dispute that DISH has had with the AMC Network, as well as some of the other channels that AMC provides. Apparently, there was a contract dispute, and uh, DISH decided that rather than to pay the amount that the network was asking, that they would just drop AMC altogether. Now, if you're familiar with AMC and enjoy The Walking Dead and Mad Men and other shows like that, then obviously that's going to be a problem for you. Well, I ran across on the internet a solution that, that DISH had come up with for some subscribers, either giving you um, like a month free or a discounted service or offering you a streaming device. So I thought that I would call into DISH, tell them that I heard that they were offering some type of remedy or solution for the problem with the dropped AMC network. And before I knew it, they offered to send me a streaming device. This device that they sent me was made by Roku, which many of you are probably familiar with. Uh, Roku came around uh, pretty popular with streaming Netflix apps, and that was really the main reason Roku came to, into existence, was for streaming Netflix movies. But they've gone beyond that now over the years, and they're offering a lot of other types of, of channels that you can stream from, which uh, we'll go over here in a few minutes. But I got the Roku box in. Now, what I had been doing in the past was I had an extra Xbox in the living room attached to the TV that I used to pretty much just stream Netflix. So by getting the Roku box free of charge from Dish, I was able to move that Xbox out of the living room and also not have to worry about paying a subscription fee uh, for gold in order to use that Xbox, you know, uh, with Xbox Live in the living room. So I got this box in. So far, I'm really impressed with it. Now, there are several different devices you can get from Roku. The one that was sent to me is the Roku 2 XD. This one is the, I guess, below, one below the top tier of the devices. Really, the only the main difference between this one and the one above it is the one I have is wireless only. It does not have a wired Ethernet port. And it also does not have a USB port built in. Although it does have a slot where you can put in a memory card if you need additional space on the device for any apps or anything that you might put on there. So all in all, I think it was a pretty good deal. Granted, it was only about 80 bucks if I went out and bought it. But hey, you know, if there's something free, you know, I'll be glad to take it. Uh, here's a view of what the little device looks like. It fits um, just about in your hand pretty easily. Very lightweight. Uh, not a whole lot to it as far as uh, ports or anything like that, except on the back you do have an HDMI port to attach to your television. You can also attach it to a Navy port if you need to. And then, of course, the power plug. Uh, you can see a slot up in the top left corner there for a micro SD card if you choose to put one of those in. Now, the, uh, the one I have can't, comes with a remote that looks like this one here which is uh, really easy to use, uh, doesn't have too many buttons on it. Now, uh, an interesting thing that I found out that you can do, and which I have done myself, is you can download an app either for your iPhone or you can also install it on an Android device, and you can actually control your Roku box uh, through your phone or your tablet. So you don't even need the remote there if you don't want it. Now, looking at the, uh, the Roku 2 XD itself, uh, like I said, it has a wireless connection in the one that I have. Uh, the other one comes with an Ethernet wired port as well. But you can output from 480 all the way up to 1080p, uh, which is what I'm running in my setup. Audio output, I'm using HDMI, so it's coming over that. And I already mentioned the SD card slot if you wanted additional space for any games or channel storage. Now let's take a look at what the device looks like on screen. I recorded this from my television. Uh, there are several apps that come pre-installed uh, with the Roku. And you can see on the left in FX there the channel store where you can download other programs. And the Netflix is obviously the, the one that seals the deal, so to speak. And I've been real happy with the way it works. I use Netflix on the Xbox uh, on occasion, and, and it works fine. But uh, on the Roku, it is really fast. I have not had any problems with it at all. Now, on the initial setup for the Roku device, it is very simple. Really, the only thing you need to do is to adjust your network settings. And in this case, you would just enter in the information for your wireless network, putting in the SSID, going through any encryption that you might have on your network. 
on the device that I'm using I'm running at 1080p which is what I have set up here on the sound effects volume there uh, that's just strictly related to uh, the sounds that you want coming from the remote when you click a button and you're moving across the menus I currently have mine set really low just so I don't hear the clicking sound uh, the rest of the menu options are, are fairly self-explanatory and and really I have not even had to look at any of these other settings at all as you can see there's several different types of apps that you can put on the Roku box Crackle, uh, Pandora, Facebook even as well as some games that you can download and install I want to take a look here real quick at the Netflix app since for me this is the main reason I would use a device like this Netflix loads really fast uh, you get all the box art loading really quickly uh, I oftentimes on the Xbox have problems with my box art showing up uh, very fast or sometimes doesn't even show up at all and that may just be a problem I have but on the Roku it shows up really quickly uh, you can browse through all your recently watched you can look at your queue you can add things to your queue and for example here uh, we just pick a show like Firefly which is a show I really like uh, you have the options to resume playback uh, you can also play back of course from the beginning or go in and let's choose a different episode here let's flip through these different episodes and let's go pick one that I haven't watched yet and there you go that fast and the movie is playing now it usually will start out maybe at a lower resolution but after a few seconds of playing the resolution will pick up and you can also flip through the different screens here and look at uh, the different scenes and then pick the one that you want to watch uh, similar to using it like you do online you can also use the menu here and go through and you can give your rating for the movie you can also add it to your queue and adjust any audio and subtitles uh, that you need to uh, going back out of Netflix Amazon if you have a Prime account you can attach this application this device to your Amazon Prime account and then you have access to all the Prime movies available for free on Amazon now you can also pay for the movies uh, I've done a couple this way and and they're really inexpensive I think I paid 99 cents for a HD movie and it works just as well as Netflix uh, I had no problems at all with it another program that I downloaded and installed is crackle now this is one that you're, you may be familiar with it has a lot of uh, free television shows free movies that you can watch online of course there will be some advertisements in there but I haven't had any trouble with this application either it works real well quality is is good to average uh, just depends on how old the program is that you're watching Uh, if you're a fan of Pandora, you can download that and listen to the radio on your television. Also, Facebook, and of course, like I mentioned, many other games and, and other apps you can download. Now, many of these apps that you can download will vary in terms of quality. Some of them will just have public domain movies that are old, um, a lot of kung fu flicks, a lot of foreign movies. So really, you just kind of have to try them out and see if there are any that might suit your taste. Some of these uh, applications are available only through private channels. Uh, you can Google that and get a list of the private channels that are available. Uh, once you find one you like, you can just go into the uh, Roku account online and enter in that channel name, and it will be updated uh, to your Roku box. Taking a quick look at the channel store, you'll see here all the applications, games, uh, screensavers, wallpapers that are available to put on your device. Uh, you can flip through these, uh, read about a description about them, see the rating, see the views that other people have made about the particular app. If you're a fan of Angry Birds, Jeopardy, and a few little games like that, you can install those. Now, some of these are free. Uh, some of them also charge 99 cents or you know, maybe even $1.99 or more to install them. If you're a user of Hulu Plus, you can put that application on your Roku device. Like I said, most of these channels are hit and miss. Uh, some may have good content. Some may not even be worth your trouble. But you can just download them, try them out. And if you don't like it, just remove them from your device. Just uninstall them. You have several different social and video photo apps available besides Netflix. Uh, Vimeo uh, is one, Flickr. 
So you've got a lot of choices uh, if you want to install these on your device. All in all, uh, obviously I'm satisfied with it because I didn't have to pay for it. But even not having to pay for the device, I'm very pleased with it. It works really well. Uh, the setup is a breeze. I have not had any problems, no lockups, no uh, reboots, if you want to call it that. All the video has been, been um, very clear, uh, as good as I would expect it to be for a streaming device like this. So, I know this has been out for a, a little while now, but if maybe if your TV is not enabled or your Blu-ray is not enabled for internet uh, streaming, then maybe this is a device you want to take a look at. I am I'm real pleased with it and would recommend it to anyone who's looking for this type of uh, device to put in their living room or anywhere else for that matter. If you have any questions uh, about the device or got any comments about it, please uh, leave those below. And uh, as always, thanks for watching and I hope you have a blessed day. This is The Preacher. Bye.